Good evening, lovely to see you all. I fear that there may be dog shenanigans as uh, there's only one lap and two dogs near Casper. We'll see how we go. Um, so uh, just waiting for Paul to arrive. Welcome Fee Chris Beth, welcome Paul, lovely to see you. We are um, in our extra isolation phase so we're practicing from my office today but hopefully next Wednesday we'll be back upstairs. I'll let you know if not Fee. And the new format for practice is that we begin with a Dharma glimpse written by someone who isn't me or Casper and um, hoping that we'll receive some Dharma glimpses from some of you lovely people at some point, but until then we're reading from a book. Oh, Ralph, come and sit in your bed here. Come on, come over here. Um, so Casper will read to you today and I'll just hold my pen in here. Thank you. So I'm reading from... That's not gonna work. So yeah. Find where it was. I'm reading from Bright Dawn Dharma Glimpses and this chapter, or I'm reading a section from the chapter Five Ways How Not to Be a Bodhisattva and Other Confessions of a Dharma Practitioner by Wendy Shinyo Haylet. I'm reading the first way. The first way not to have two dogs. So, number one, I thought if I became a Buddhist, it would profoundly change me and I would get all spiritual, better, different, and then I would change the world. Becoming a Buddhist did not profoundly change me. Studying the Dharma did not profoundly change me directly. Imitating practitioners doing Buddhist practices did not profoundly change me. But I was profoundly changed by looking carefully, as Gyome, Reverend Gyome Kabose wrote, and finding the truth of things as they are, of suchness, finding universal life, deeply within myself and in all things around me. He wrote, to learn Buddhism is to become aware of life, which means to become aware of oneself. I am profoundly changed by not becoming different or more spiritual, but by becoming intimate with who I am in all my foolish, ego-grasping, judging thoughts. In that intimacy, I learned to develop compassion for myself, for being this foolish being, which creates space to change a bit by not blindly acting on the foolish thoughts. And with compassion for myself, compassion for others increased because I saw how we were the same in our foolishness. No moment to boom. No moment to boom. That a bit like you were reading us a bedtime story. <laughs> Okay, so we'll move into, welcome Angela, we'll move into some uh, quiet meditation, as quiet as the dogs will allow, uh, I'll mute ourselves, yes, time for meditation, okay, um, so as we sit quietly this evening, the invitation is just to let spaciousness in, um, it can be a complicated time of year, so as you as you breathe in, just just allow spaciousness to enter, and everything inside you just relax a little bit, um, and then after a while we'll do some chanting together. The dogs are uh, just fight, fighting over a single piece of vegan. Um, <laughs> what's it called? It's fake raw. It's fake but vegan rawhide. rawhide. Yeah. So I will mute myself. Namo me to be.
Hum mani padme hum Om 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 mani padme hum
Padme Hum Hum Mani Padme Hum Hum Mani Padme Hum Hum Mani Padme Hum Om 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 Mani Padme Hum
or refuge, I go to the Buddha. Namo Buddhaya. For refuge, I go to the Dharma. Namo Dharmaya. For refuge, I go to the Sangha. Namo Sangaya. With faith in the three jewels, I pray that I may not take life. With faith in the three jewels, I pray that I may not steal. With faith in the three jewels, I pray that I may not fall into sexual misconduct. With faith in the three jewels, I pray that I may not fall into wrong speech. With faith in the three jewels, I pray that I may avoid intoxication. No blame, be kind, love everything. Innumerable are sentient beings, we vow to save them all. Inexhaustible are deluded passions, we vow to transform them all. Immeasurable are the Dharma teachings, we vow to master them all. Infinite is the Buddha's way, we vow to fulfill it completely. Namo Midabu. You won't be able to hear Casper's voice, but he's he's wrangling the dogs next door and uh, responding. <sighs> so I was thinking um, during the dog shenanigans about um, pure land Buddhism, and they're not the the they haven't been the best uh, behaved dogs this evening during practice. Um, partly because they've had a long day at my parents and partly because we gave them some new um, vegan peanut butter rawhide, uh, which has sent them a little bit crazy. And uh, even though, of course, they had an identical one each, they've chewed it a bit. And then as soon as they chew it, the other dog wants the one that's been chewed by the other dog. So, um, yeah. Um, and I was also thinking about um, New Year's resolutions and my um, the, the, the parts of me that every year get quite excited about the idea of a, a brand sparkling new version of Satya um, that will um, be um, thinner and uh, do more meditation and do less work and go on the internet less um, and there's you know there's quite a long list um, and um, as I get older I'm 47 now um, I can't help but become more and more familiar with with these feelings that arise at this time of year and I can't help but uh, be aware of what usually happens which is that I set some, uh, some goals that seem reasonable and then pretty quickly break them and return to almost the same Satya as before, slightly different, but not the, uh, the shiny new improved version that I hoped for. Um, and and it, it becomes more and more amusing as well, which is quite quite lucky. Rather than dis I'm not I'm not despairing. I'm just amused, more and more amused. Um, and and it it reminds me of why for me Pure Land Buddhism um, was so revolutionary when I encountered it. The idea that we are bamboo beings, that we are foolish beings of wayward passions, and that. Um, not only is it helpful to have something outside us to help us, it's necessary because from within our own um, foolish system, it's impossible for us to, 
to become new and improved, to, to, um, to have an experience of the divine without some kind of intervention from outside. And that's what uh, Amida Buddha offers us is, um, is, is, is an intervention from outside of our systems in a way that um, that breaks everything open, that makes something amazing possible. And uh, as we heard in the reading um, by Wendy Shinyo, um, it, it, it's not that we become completely different people, but that something, um, just wondering how I can describe how it feels for me. It's, it's, it's like there's more space inside or it's like there's more light inside. There's, there's I think um, Pema Chodron speaks about um, there being a lake with kind of lots of junk at the bottom. And that when the lake clears, when the lake sort of settles and, and all the sediment kind of goes down to the bottom and it becomes crystal clear, you can just see the junk at the bottom really clearly. And you just look in and you're like, oh yeah, there's all that junk. <laughs> But there's something about it that's okay. It's 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 okay. We're okay. We're okay with all our junk. That we don't need to be any different in order to be um, decent human beings. In in order to be in order to be acknowledged and appreciated for for who we are. Because who we are is is because of where we came from and. Um, there's an awful lot that we don't have complete control over, like the dogs when they're fighting over the, the rawhide. There's, uh, there's times when we just, we just can't help it, that we just do the thing that we don't want to have done. And, um, and when Amida Buddha sees us doing that, she just smiles and... Um, winks at us maybe <laughs> so as we move through this strange holiday period um, if you're able to rest then I hope you are I hope you're feeling permission to really allow that it, it sometimes it feels like it's a really difficult time to rest because of all the other stuff that's happening but hopefully you'll find some space to rest and if you do um, want to make some changes in the new year, um, maybe try and scale them back as much as you can. I'm speaking to myself now as well as to you. And also just acknowledge that, that whatever happens with those goals, Amida will be seeing you, smiling at you and offering you love wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Namo Amida Boo. So we'll move into prostrations and I will be prostrating to my Buddha who's just here and hopefully you can hear me chanting from there. Namo Amida Namo Namo Amida 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 
So we'll finish as we usually do by bowing to each other. And then hopefully you've got a Buddha in your room somewhere. If not, you can bow through the screen to mine. And then if you want to unmute, we can recite the closing verse together. Cass, did you want to come in for the closing verse? <laughs> Blessed, Blessed by, by Amitabha's light. May we care for peace and the holy earth. Holy earth. No need to be. No need to be. No need to be.